welcome to Team G503. I'm your host, Scott Schiller, and this is a 1943 Willis MB we'll be doing a restoration project on. Tonight's video is going to be a complete walk around of the Jeep. Hope you enjoy it. Like our lights. And the paint's good on it. It's just faded. The combat rims. Nice axe and shovel set. On the back side here, I don't like that red jerry can too awful much, but that's not a problem. A spare tire, and somebody's put a aftermarket lock, so nobody walks away with their spare. It's got the pintle. Again, the outside paint is, is in good shape. There's some small rust spots there in the corner. Undercarriage looks pretty decent. Combat's all the way around. Now here's something though that's got me a little concerned. There's a bunch of undercoating, rubberized undercoating, that somebody had put on there. And unfortunately, you got the rusties underneath that. So that'll be something we'll have to address. The seat covers are in decent shape. They're faded. Backside's a little detached on them. They're all there. Got the crash pads, safety straps, steering wheel, and the dash. Got our data plates. 2.5 of 1943. And again, this is an issue, but nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, somebody's uh, changed the transmission out to a T90 transmission and put that cover in there. And they also kind of cut that up funny. It's a strange piece of metal. We'll, we'll get that fixed. I don't necessarily like that foam pad underneath the gas tank. Again, the rubberized coating on the inside here. I don't like that stuff. Windshield's in great shape. It's got dual wipers. For the stitch Nazis and the rivet counters, there's your EC marked bolts on the grab handles. You got your snaps all in the door opening. So the body's in really good shape. This is going to be some nice information to have. It's got the seal number, the DOD, and this is the biggest problem with this Willis MB. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it says GPW engine 89831. That is a sacrilege. How are you going to put a GPW Ford engine in one of these Willis MBs? I'll never know. But that's what that joker is. Man, I tell you what, I need to get the grinder out. You're going to get the grinder out. Just teasing you. Carbs leaking a little, seeping a little air. Guys, notice anything here? I'm not even going to tell you. Let's, let's hear in the comments what's up with that. Hose is in good shape. Hey, there's a new fuel pump there from Joe's Motor Pool. If you look down there underneath there, you can see the oil seeping everywhere. Right there on the pulley guard. All kind of oil and gunk on there. It's leaking out the side. Fantastic Spartan horn. And it works. That's beautiful. And we've got the oil can inside. <clears throat> Eagle is correct. GPW engine. That's the first thing that's coming out of the Willis. Toolboxes are in good shape. This back fender well's dented up. And inside here, nice and clean, no holes. That's really nice. All the hinges and locking mechanisms work well. Got our seat hooks. You just see it's a little bent up. Some clown stepped on that seat. Don't know who that is, but nice job there, buddy. Here's where it's going to get ugly. This T90 transmission that was installed here. They've got this cross member. It looks like to be off a of 3A. They've got that in there bolted up and shimmed out so they can put the T90 in. And let's see if they can get on this transfer case here. Okay, right there, I know the sun's hitting it, but right there, believe me or not, that is 
an amphibious GPA transfer case. <laughs> How about that? And you can see that everything down here is leaking everywhere. Slinging oil underneath the body, gear oil. Rear differential, same thing. All leaking seals are all bad in it. Have to drain that out and see what's up with that at some point. Oil pans leaking everywhere, leaking out the side, leaking out the bell housing. So the rear main obviously is probably bad. Springs look good. Got our knuckles. The usual stuff. It's all the usual stuff. Just has to be redone, rebuilt. But that uh, that transfer case there, that's an interesting thing. Amazing. Can't wait to pull that. We can look at that in more detail at some point here. It runs, it drives, and the body's really solid. Well, at least from what we can see until we get that rubberized coating off of there. But that GPW engine, <laughs> no, 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 no. you just don't, you don't put that in an MB. Come on now, that's the first thing that's coming out of here. You've seen the drive line, the brakes need to be replaced, and the axles need some work, I'm sure all the seals are leaking on them. This is gonna be a fun project, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Team G503, and we're gonna start taking this apart and start doing some how-to videos. I hope you all enjoyed the one this evening. Have a good night.